Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Bokusatsu and I'm here today, I am here today to review Well, a holy grail in my collection. And I say holy grail because this guy is actually a holy grail in my collection. I'm, I'm finally have I'm, thank God I'm finally I finally have them too. Cause playing with the guy a lot in picture. Damn, they were pretty fun, not gonna lie. And trust me, I took a lot of good pictures for this guy. So today, we are, we are not reviewing a figure art or a landing collection, not a solo, not a solo chronicle, nope. We're reviewing a Figma from about Max Factory slash Max Factory Metacon. Metacons are, are the same people that made, are, are, Metacons are the same people that make the Mayfax, make Mayfax figure, if you guys don't know. Um, this is, we are reviewing the Figma Kamen Rider Onyx from Kamen Rider Dragon Knight. But, here's the thing. This figure isn't Onyx in my eyes. Well, it is. But, at the same time, it's also Ryuga. You know, uh, Kido Sinji's evil personality, we'll say, from the mirror world. Who I, who I prefer way more than actual keto because I don't like Sinji. So anyway, yeah, I have this guy. How is he? Is he good? Is he bad? Is he bad in the figure art? Well, don't I don't own the figure art because that guy is too pricey for my. That guy is too pricey for me, unfortunately. <laughs> so he's a heck no. Nah. But I bought the Figma for alternative. And well, I and also I wanted the guy for I wanted the guy since 2020, and now I have him. I'm finally happy. So let's talk about the, the pros and cons. All right, first off, uh, how 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 good is articulation? Well, this this is how far he goes for here. And there, by the way, you can by the way what I love what I love about this uh, Figma. I think Dragonite had the exact same thing, but uh, you you can pop off the torso and and pop it back in, which is pretty cool. And also, for those who want to know, can this figure break? No, it can't, but it could do this. See, it's not broken. Relax. Oh no, it's broken. Relax, it's not broken. See, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, he goes from here to there to there. That's it. How good is his legs? Well, this is how far his legs go. Because he has this diaper right here, I'm calling it. And uh if you want if you want, if you want, if you want like more articulation, you could do this to it by taking taking that off because you see the diaper right there, but at the same time I recommend keeping the legs in there because it look kinda of, look really weird. Well, it looked really weird if I don't do that. But yeah, so how how good can he pose? Really good. Like Like really good though. He's not a figure, so keep that in mind. He does have limitation, but uh, he's... I can pose him really good. Ah, oh, man, I love this so much. And hit the best part about this figure. His accessories, you know. Boy, let's get on to those accessories, shall we? Oh boy, let me uh, try to get him in a uh, standing pose. You guys had no idea. I made, I made it like two videos at a time. This video and uh, another video that's supposed to be going, going on my channel like around next week. Uh, 
What I love about about this fig is that Figma uh, give you a, a box or a bag to put all your accessories in just in case if you lose one, if you lose any of them. And I'm I'm so relieved that they they did this back in the day because no lie. I'm so happy that I have this because all my accessories are safe in here without me losing any pieces of them. Oh boy. So we have a stand you can do you can use for him for his for his iconic rider kick pose. But we also but we also have like a lot of weapons and hands too. We have a sword vet. Oh, I love this. I know it's a repaint from Dragon Knight, but dude, I, I love this sword so much. Personally, personally, the black, the person, the black, personally, this, this uh, color black fits perfectly for, uh, for him. We have his strike vent right here. And by the way, if I don't want to know, keep. I really want to know. Yes, you you actually can put this on him. You just gotta do this. In fact, you see this? You gotta do this. Try to. You got all right. So you need this piece in order for uh, in order to put the strike vent on him. And then after that, you just get this and uh, and here you go, strike vent. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This is uh, this is really easy to this this is really easy to put on him because. When I first when I first got him, I was nervous to put on it because I because I thought this figure was gonna break. But unfortunately, yeah he didn't though. That's a uh, it's really good that he didn't break. Alright, I'm gonna take this off, put back his uh Oh yeah, bye right, you you need oh, <coughs> look that happened. You need uh you, you need you need his his uh well his hand, his arm mostly. And yes, yes, I know. There's so much rubber for him. Keep in mind, this figure came out in 2000, and uh, well, of course, there's rubber. Hell, there's, there's rubber on fucking figure arts. Just saying. The rubber, the rubber for this figure isn't all that bad, honestly. Not perfect, but not. Nah. Personally, I think it looks way better. Personally, I think this, I think this rubber looks way better than Sinkoku Seiho Kamuya Black from from Tamashi from SA Figure Arts. That's just my opinion. And oh yeah, we have an arm. Well, we have a risk. This is this is mostly oh, sorry, this is mostly for a uh, guard vent, to be honest. And I'll and I'll show off guard vent. And we also have his card right here. Oh boy, his card. Oh. I don't know you can see it, but uh it that, that that's the best that's the best it's trying to show. We have his card right here for our well vinyl for fi for his final vent. Here are his hands. Oh boy, he could he come for he come for like a lot of these ones. We have one hand to hold this card. We have like, well, four open, four open palm hands, and uh, two hands to hold his sword, which you'll see in the pictures. And yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's also there's also this too. There's also his guard pen. And they give a, and they give you well, I don't have the figure, four pieces. You got, all right. So you got you gotta drop out these pieces for these to put, to put uh you, you gotta drop out these shoulder pieces for for these shoulder pieces right here to put 
well, these bad boys in. But before that, you, you, you need to put this piece in first, then this. Then, uh, well, then, well, you can have them do guard vent. But, yeah. That's, uh... Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I have a bias toward this suit because I, because I love this. I love this suit for a personal reason. Because if you don't know, this suit is my favorite suit in the whole entire comedy franchise. And well, I have I bought the uh, I bought the freaking uh, CSM deck for this. And yes, I know the reissue of CSM is out already on pre-order or took like both. I'm not gonna get that deck, unfortunately. <laughs> but I am, but I am on a hunt for finding the belt separate one day. So that's gonna be fun. So on to size comparison. So here we have the Lightning Collection Dino Fury Blue Ranger. All right. Sorry about that. I'm trying, I'm trying, trying to fix my camera, my phone here. Here, here we have him with the SA Figure Art Comrade Zero One Metal Cluster Hopper. What? Why will you not stand? This figure, this figure just does not want to stand up. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> All right, let me take these two out. <laughs> Here we have the SA Figure Arts Perfect Knockout. Here we have the SA Figure Arts Common Rider. Well, Black Sun. Here we have the SA figures come on our Shadow Moon. If you have not seen my review for that figure, go watch it because I know that the US release just came out for a lot of people. So recommend recommend watching my video for those that uh for those that have them. And here is the well Figma Wing Knight. And yes, I did bought another Figma. I will do my review on him like well probably next week. But yeah, yeah. So what? So what? That thing. Overall, oh shit! This guy, this guy's really good. Again, if you don't want the S, I will say this: if you don't want to pay around, let's say, three hundred or two hundred, God no, five hundred for the figure art version. Since that fucker, since that fucker is, is pretty hard to find. This uh, this guy's a good. This guy is a good alternative to, to represent your favorite evil writer, favorite like suit or or villain and common writer. Personally, this personally this guy, while he not in scale with the figure arts, he is a good alternative to to have to have like a to have like a, a, a Ryuga representative in your collection. And uh, yeah, he's pretty really good though. But if you don't want the Figma, the figure, I know that there's a Soto Chronicle. I know that I know that Soto made a few, few Ryuga, no, Ryuga figures. And well, you can. Oh shit! <laughs> my bad. And well, you can always go hunt those down instead. But in my humble opinion, this guy will represent Onyx, but mostly Ryuga. In my collection. And I'm satisfied for having him. He is a retail release as well, so there's also that. If you find him anywhere, I recommend using like websites like Mandurake, Ami Ami. I didn't buy mine from those websites. <laughs> and uh well where that where do you buy your from, bro? <laughs> no one needs to know. No one needs to, no no one needs to know. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, overall overall uh I'm I'm satisfied with this guy. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow all my social media in the description, and follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash 15 
And pretty soon in the summertime, I will be live streaming on there. And I will be talking about tokusatsu, basically comics, toys, anything. <laughs> anything. Basically everything I like. <laughs> and play some video games as well. But yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah thank, you, th thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media description, including my Twitch. And uh, put the notification button on for my next video. If you guys need help, I can read around, well, a thousand subs. That's my goal for this year. And uh, yeah, that's <laughs> and yeah, that's it. My name's Aaron, and uh, I'm out. Have a nice day.